she never wanted him. It was always to see if she can pull him away from what he had. That's how those women, them women are sociopathic, man. Sociopathic. They love destroying families. It makes them feel special. You know, a lot of people can't feel good unless they're putting somebody else down. And y'all think these hot bows don't have insecurity issues, but they are very insecure. That's part of the reason why they move the way they move. It's part of the reason why they don't mind sharing men. They'll, they'll mess with a man that got 80 women. But their goal would be to see if they can pull him away from all 79 other ones. And when they realize they can't, they'll walk. It's what they do. If, if they realize they can't stop him from being what he is, they leave. If they can get him to stop being what he is, they leave. Anywhere they go, they're going to leave. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. Okay, my alpha soldiers, here we go. I want to talk about Derek Jackson. When I first started this YouTube channel, I actually had a dude that accused me of wanting to be the next Derrick Jackson. And I didn't even know who Derrick Jackson was. Never even heard of him. And I took offense to that man because, because of right now, right? Now that I've, been, I, I've looked into Derrick Jackson and, and, and heard some of the stuff that he said, I have no idea what I could have possibly have said that came across as remotely being the same as that dude. This dude is some old uh, uh, female pandering uh, slash religion type dude. And I, I don't come across like that at all. I mean, nothing I say is even similar to that dude. And this is the problem I have with y'all, man. Y'all are good at building up straw men just to dismiss somebody. If you don't want to listen, listen, I am here as a service. I am not here to make money. I am here as a service. The only reason I want my channel to get bigger is to reach more people. That's it. I am here as a service. If you don't want to take what I'm giving for your benefit, that's on you. You can't hurt me by rejecting me. You can only hurt yourself that's wisdom young brothers that's wisdom now you think about that because the people y'all been listening to i can expose them all i just don't want to do it i'm going to end up doing it because that's the way i'm gonna have to go but i don't want to do that but them dudes are all flawed man because let's talk about Derek jackson here's my example he pandered to women i heard this dude anton dude right you know what i'm saying he ain't another one, oh, I'm making money, I'm a millionaire now. Okay, bro, anyway, you know what I'm saying? He's another one, right? And he talk about how you can outgrow your spouse. I mean, that is true. People do outgrow each other, and that's not necessarily a bad thing or, you know, it just is what it is, right? People travel in different directions. The word outgrow may not be the proper term, but people do travel in different directions at certain points in their life, particularly if they marry young. I've already talked about that. But anyway, his whole thing was based on social economics, of course, money and all. Marriage would be the most uh, uh, the most important financial decision you make. No, it's not. No, it's not. And he gave some legitimate things, like you got a woman that spend too much money. That's a legitimate problem. But I mean, okay, that's an obvious problem. That, that's not, that has nothing to do with social economics because that's just the time we live in. That's an obvious problem, right? That, you know, because of the way we live, you can't have a person that's too loose with money, with spending. We get that. But that don't mean that 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 that, that your marriage will be the most important financial decision that you will make. No, it's not, bro. No, it's not, man. Because trust me, from a dude that had money, lost money, got money again, lost it again, got it again, money comes and goes, bro. You know what I'm saying? It comes and goes. But the people that's important to you in your life, that 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 should be a, a, a constant, right? That should be something that's steady. 
got nothing to do with the money. If they with you, they with you. Got nothing to do with the money. As the money come and go, they still going to be there if they with you. And vice versa. Because a lot of you dudes, y'all want to put this off on women. But the second something changed that you don't like, you bail on her too. You dudes are dip. A la Derek Jackson. Now we to the point. So this dude, Anton, don't know what he's talking about. You can grow apart from a spouse. That is true. But this got nothing to do with why Derek Jackson is filing for divorce from his wife. I have a different theory and it's not even complicated. Have you ever noticed that whenever these dudes give an explanation for something, it's always, it's always like splitting atoms? It's, it, it always takes some kind of high aptitude and, 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 and high mathematics to understand their reasoning behind it. But I mean, in a way, it's simplified because it always deals with social economics. And when it, when it comes down to it, it's going to have something to do with the, the algorithm of how money is made and this and that, and how social economics come into play, how you're high value man, low value man. It, listen, but it's, it's, a lot of times human nature is not that complicated. The bottom line is Derek Jackson never had the kinds of women he really wanted. His wife was never that woman. That's the thing. That's the thing. I just seen somebody, um, I think it was Ricky Williams, right? The dude that do the boxing channel. He does it, you know, he talks about the things that he really shouldn't be talking about. I like Ricky. He's a, he's a straight shooting brother. But being a straight shooter don't mean that you're elevated enough to talk about a broad amount of topics. He's not a lightweight, he's not dumb, he's not slow with it. But when you're trying to teach people, you gotta have a certain level of elevated understanding and wisdom. That's different. That's different. <laughs> That's different, bro. That's just different. You gotta have a level of understanding and wisdom and that's just something that's different. He don't possess that. But he said how these how these kind of dudes love these 304s, right? Pandarus. He said Pandarus love the 304s. It's not that, man. Just a lot of these dudes really wanted a, a certain type of woman in, in their life and they never got her. So they fell into a lane of pretending like they didn't want her. And, and, and they, they had a woman that's with them that they settled for, but they never really wanted that. The truth is, we all like them 304s that like y'all call. I don't like calling, I don't like that 304 stuff. We all like them bows. You know what I'm saying? I, hot bows are hot bows. Man, we all like the hot bows. It's just that we all don't want to marry a hot bow. You know what I'm saying? The hot bows know that they are hot. They know dudes like them. They know dudes be checking them out. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, you got to be a certain type of dude to want that woman in your life. Now, that's the problem. If you are a dude that have never dated those women when you were younger, right? At, at a certain time in your life. If you never had the hottest chick, you know, take for instance, like say like you grew up in, like all y'all went to high school, right? Think about who was one of the baddest chicks in the high school. You know what I'm saying? Whether she was a year ahead of you or a year under you or whatever. Think about the baddest chick. Did you ever hit them? Now see, I didn't hit them all. But in my school, say you had like five chicks that just, I mean, every dude, every dude in the school talk about like she's the hottest thing in high school, right? Out the five, I hit two, at least. I mean, you can't get them all. Let's be realistic, my brothers. <laughs> you know, you can't get them all. But I mean, the point is, out the five, I hit two. So unless you, if you've never been that dude to hit these kinds of women, that's gonna always be a, 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 a spot in you for that for those kinds of women. There's always gonna be that, that spot in you. There's an empty slot left in you for that type of woman because you never had that experience. You never ran around with the chick that everybody look at and be like, ooh, ooh, look at that, ooh, you know, you haven't had that yet. And believe it or not, every man wants to feel that. We can say what we want to say. But we all wants to know what that feels like to walk into the place with a hot bow. And maybe the chick is not a bow, but she know we, you got a lot of hot classy girls too, you know what I'm saying? You got a lot of chicks that dress hot that are not really slutty at all by no measure. That's really more my speed to be honest. But the, but the point I'm making is you still want to be able to walk into the spot with that chick that's dressed in a sexy outfit. And the dudes be like, whoa, man, look, look. If you never had that, 
you gonna loan for that. This is part of the problem y'all have right now in the black YouTube manosphere slash red pill slash MGTOW uh, community. The truth is a lot of you dudes, the reason why y'all so fixated on Instagram models and stuff because that's the kind of women y'all really want. Y'all want a woman that look like that but's gonna act towards you like she's your robot or your slave or something. That's what y'all want. It's what you want. It's what you want. And you're not gonna get that out of them so it frustrates you because you can't touch them kind. You walk around the streets, you walk in the mall, you see these girls in these yoga pants, thing poking out like a knuckle sitting up there. She coming down that, she coming down at that thing poked out, man, like, like, like she doing some kind of hood dance. That thing all poked out. And you looking at this and you can't get them. And it's messing with you. And if you ever get in a position where you can finally date one of them chicks, you're going to do it. You're going to do it. And, and if it's something that, that you really, really wanted and you like the way this girl look, you're going to lose your mind like Derrick Jackson did. Because he could have stepped outside. But he's, I heard he stepped outside before he's cheated on his wife several times. The way I understand it. And this time he decided to leave her for one of the women. That's cold-blooded, you know what I'm saying? And y'all compare me to that dude. I'll never leave my wife for nobody, man. My wife got to do something between me and her. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not going to leave her, you know. I'm not. I'm just not going to leave her, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to kick her to the curb like that. I, I just wouldn't do that. That's not my style, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, the point is, the, his, his reasoning for doing what he's doing is not that complicated. And one dude did mention how, I think that was Anton also, talking about Derrick Jackson moving on from his frumpy wife. Now, I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? At a certain point, a dude don't want a frumpy woman. You know what I'm saying? But he picked, he settled for that woman because he could never get the kinds of women he actually wanted until he hit a certain plateau. Now we're going back to that video I just did talking about Kevin Samuels. The one Kevin Samuels on the thumbnail. I just released that one. Now we're going back to that. He's the typical kind of dude that never got what he wanted until he reached a certain plateau. And these dudes don't know how to act when he reached that plateau. They exposed themselves. Didn't Umar, Dr. Umar Johnson do the same thing after all that conscious talk? Didn't he get caught out there with some kind of some kind of stripper or something, you know what I'm saying, hanging out in the hotel? I mean, I don't know the whole story. It's old. I mean, I heard about it. But the point is, they all exposed themselves because these are the kinds of women they always really wanted. See, a dude like me, and I'm just being real. Y'all could think I'll be bragging. I'm not bragging. I'm trying to teach from experience. It's a difference, you know what I'm saying? I'm sharing. A dude like me, I've had these women. So let's say a hot bowl come my way. She can't tempt me. She can't tempt me. I mean, I'll look at her, but she can't tempt me, man, because I've been there and done that, and, and truth be told, they're not even my style. Now, let's say an older, classy, sexy chick come my way. Now, we got issues. I might, have to, I might have to try to slip on the side and hit that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not worrying about no hot bowls. You know, I'm not worrying about no young hot bowls. Uh, that, that's... They, 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 they don't offer me nothing, but they, I've been there, done that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm on, I'm on some other stuff right now. I'm on to the next thing. You know what I'm saying? Like Jay-Z said, I'm on to the next thing. But the point is, I can only walk away from that because I've been there so many times. It's, it's really nothing to me. But if it's something to you, you are not going to be able to resist. And again, now we mind again. This is the problem y'all have in the red pill slash MGTOW community online. Y'all really want those kinds of women. That's why these women are the center of y'all conversations. This is why y'all get mad about the pookies and Ray Rays that they like to date. I mean, I didn't did three videos already asking why in the hell are y'all worried about the kinds of women that y'all shouldn't even want. Three videos. And you dudes don't want to click them on. Y'all see that thumbnail? Yeah, that dude, that make me shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, because y'all know I'm right. Y'all know I'm right, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know I'm right. But again, rejecting me don't hurt me. Rejecting me hurts you. But y'all know I'm right. Y'all need to stop worrying about these women, but I get it. But see, the thing is, I do get it. You never had that before. And if it comes your way, when you get the opportunity, you're going to try to hit it and you're going to lose your mind. Now, here's what you got to do, though. Let's say you do find somebody and you do get married. You know what I'm saying? Look, man, you either stick to your, 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 your code with that woman or you don't marry her. 
whatever code you make, like I said in the, in the previous video, I never promised monogamy. So that wasn't something that I had an issue with. You know, if you make that mistake and promise monogamy, it is a mistake. A man should not be monogamous at all. You make that mistake, then you hold to that code. You stick to that. You know what I'm saying? And if a chick like that come along, you just got to chalk it up as that's something that you missed out on. You're not going to have every experience that you want in life anyway. You know, I get it. The hot bow is something that, that you know, kind of special. You know what I'm saying? Everybody like to put their hands on one at least one time. But if you don't have that experience, you just don't have that experience. You know what I'm saying? And you don't want to get them late in life anyway. Derrick Jackson ain't getting nothing special. I mean, how old is that cat? I don't even know how old he, how old he is, but I know he's not young. That mean the hot bowls that he's getting right now, they ought to have been ran through. You supposed to slam them hot bowls, man, when they 18, 17, 16, you know what I'm saying? When you're a teenager or in your early 20s, that's when you're supposed to be slamming them. And that chick that, he, that he's about to run off with, she's going to divorce him. Remember this video. Remember I said it first. That marriage ain't going to last but a year or two. She's going to divorce him. If they still in the, in, 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 in the, if he's still in the limelight somehow, you know, uh, you're going to hear about him getting divorced from that chick. Because once that chick got him full time, she's not going to want him no more. She's not going to want him no more. She never wanted him. It was always to see if she can pull him away from what he had. That's how those women, them women are sociopathic, man. Sociopathic. They love destroying families. It makes them feel special. You know, a lot of people can't feel good unless they're putting somebody else down. And y'all think these hot bows don't have insecurity issues, but they are very insecure. That's part of the reason why they move the way they move. It's part of the reason why they don't mind sharing men. They'll, they'll mess with a man that got 80 women. But their goal would be to see if they can pull him away from all 79 other ones. And when they realize they can't, they'll walk. It's what they do. If, if they realize they can't stop him from being what he is, they leave. If they can get him to stop being what he is, they leave. Anywhere they go, they're going to leave. So you are wasting your time by investing in a hot boat. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just leave him alone, bro. If you're going to smash, you smash and dash. You know, you keep your girl, frumpy or not. You keep your girl, man. You smash and dash the hot boy and you, you bounce. But I get it, man. You know, every man wants to know what it feel like to have that dime piece on your arm. Have that piece on your arm where the dude's looking like, whoa, man, look at this shit, man. Ooh, she bad. Every man wants to know what that feel like. And I'll be lying if I say that I didn't love it when I had it like that. My wife still looks good, so I still get it in a way, but we old. Let's just be honest. <laughs> you, know, you know, the older men appreciate her, you know what I'm saying? But we old, you know what I'm saying? But you know, the point is though, I had it like that. And I'll be lying if I said that I didn't enjoy that. You know what I'm saying? Man, you, I lied to you like that pistol with me on site, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't let me lie to you like that, but don't, don't, don't let me tell you that I didn't enjoy that. So that's why I understand what Derrick Jackson is going through. He he missed out on something and now he has a chance. But I seen the chick, the chick, she's not even, you know, she, in the world of hot bows, you know, hot girls, you know what I'm saying? She's still just average. You know what I'm saying? She ain't, she ain't nothing special. And I don't really see why she's much of an upgrade from his wife, to be honest. His wife is frumpy, but she can change her style. You know what I'm saying? Now, if she don't want to, that's another thing. But she can change her style. But anyway, the point is, I'd be lying if I, if I say I didn't understand what this brother going through. Because, you know, men like him that never had the kinds of women show interest in him until they reached a certain plateau, they got to go through that now. Now it's new to them. Now they got women coming at them. Now they got the kinds of women showing interest in them that never looked at them before. Plus, you get a little older, the women are not as, as concerned that you're not a, a, a thug anymore. Because oh, what y'all understand is that all us thugs, all us pookies get older. 99% of us change as we get older. I am not, the, I'm the same kind of person overall in, 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 inside that I was when I was young. But I am a totally different person in exterior. You know what I'm saying? Totally different person, bro. I mean, I'll, I'll be on a set man bandana on, you know, around my neck, no shirt on, pistol poking out the pants, you know. I mean, I was just a wild dude when I was young. I am not that dude anymore. We all change. 
you know? So the truth of the matter is, as you get older, the women don't really expect you to act like, like you 20 anymore. They don't expect you to be running around here acting like uh, one of these young rappers. You know what I'm saying? They don't expect that. So it balances a little more. It, as you get older, the truth of the matter is, the so-called yesterday's Pookies and Ray Rays, they are now actually in the same circles with you so-called high value men. And this is another thing that makes y'all mad because the Pookie and Ray Rays still carry a certain je ne sais quoi about themselves that still attracts women towards them. So now that y'all in the same circles, uh, in the same sphere, you know, you, you now you're having a problem because you can't compete with these dudes. But the good thing is, everything gets a little more balanced off at that point. So you dudes that were ignored in high school, now because the po because the Pookie and Ray Ray toned down and you upped your game a little bit, now you're a little more even with Pookie and Ray Ray. So now for the first time, you got the kinds of women showing interest in you that never did before. And you are loving it. I understand. It don't take rocket scientists, uh, uh, sci uh, a rocket scientist to understand it. It just takes a dude that understands women and men. And the rest of these dudes don't understand it. I, I've seen videos make every statement about this situation but the truth. And the truth of the matter is I just believe the dude just never had those kinds of women before. He may have had attractive women that show interest in him, but they wasn't the kind. See, that's the thing y'all got to hear my words. My words are specific. The kind. He wanted a hot girl. He wanted the girl that's more adventurous. The girl that will put on a see-through outfit when you step out. The girl that will put on a two-piece bikini, thong on, walking on the beach. He wanted that. But most men want that. That's why y'all so frustrated because y'all are torn between the reality of what you want and how you want it to come to you. You want that hot girl, but you want to control her. But you don't realize you will control her if she chose you. If she chose you, you will control her. But you got to find one that chooses you. And you got to be willing to let this woman be what she is when you meet her because you got two choices. You either going to meet a hot boy or the hot chick that's already a hot chick or you're going to meet a square chick and turn her into a hot chick, which is what I would advise you to do. Meet a square chick that still got the shape and everything, the looks, and you turn her into a hot chick. She'll go, believe me, the squares turn hot real fast because every woman also wants to be that chick that every dude look at when they step out. So it works. It works. I mean, that's what I did with mine. You know, mine's didn't dress like she dressed right now. My mine's, mine's would have never, when I met mine, she'd have never put on the clothes that she put on now. Right now at 60, she dressed way sexier now than she did when I met her. But anyway, I understand Derrick Jackson. Nobody got that right. I mean, not that my theory may, my theory may be wrong, but what I really believe is that he just, just never had those kinds of women show interest in him before and he's just enjoying it now you know what i'm saying it, it, it's the t la song all over again i'm so tired of balling y'all need to go pull it up t la from like the early 90s late 80s we don't get tired of those women man because you never hear players say nothing like that you know what i'm saying and i didn't say i'm tired of them i just said i had them already i've been there and done that i ain't say i was tired i just been there and done that you know what i'm saying it's nothing to me but when you never get you a player never gets tired of female attention from the hot bulls you know what i'm saying never get tired of you know so he is now balling he's now in, in in a place in his life he reached a certain plateau the way he dressed the way he keep himself up now he's attracting the kinds of women that ignored him when he was coming up hey he don't know how to deal with that bro it's make it's it's exposing the hypocrisy and it's exposing why y'all shouldn't listen to these dudes. These dudes that pander, they pander for a reason, bro. These dudes that sit online, most of these dudes, first of all, that talk all this crap, all the red pill crap, they don't even have wives. That's the irony. Y'all listen to a whole bunch of dudes on one side that don't have women themselves, and on the other side, y'all listen to a bunch of panderers that got women that you wouldn't want. Y'all all messed up, man. Y'all need Brother Kush the God, y'all. Y'all need an alpha, you know? And that's why I'm here. 
Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm out of here. I'm Brother Kush, aka the Black Alpha. Salam. So